Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Laplace transform of sine of square root of t. Given the function y of t equal to sine of square root of t, we want to find the Laplace transform of y of t. The first step is to transform this equation into a differential equation, which, which again can be used to solve for the Laplace transform. So, for the sake of simplicity, we drop the time index t on the left hand side. So, then, so we have y equal to sine of square root of t. Upon differentiation, this becomes differentiation. We have y dash is equal to cos of square root of t multiplied by 1 by 2 times square root of t. Again, differentiating, that is differentiating for the second time we have y double dash is equal to derivative of cos of square root of t multiplied by 1 by 2 times square root of t which becomes 1 by 2 multiplied by derivative of cos square root of t is minus sine square root of t multiplied by 1 by 2 times square root of t do square root of 1 by square root of t and the second term is plus cos of square root of t multiplied by derivative of 1 by square root of t which is minus 1 by 2 multiplied by t power minus 3 by 2 because it is 1 t power minus 1 by 2 and the derivative is and the derivative is t power minus 1 by 2 minus 1 so this is the second derivative of y now by using the definition y equal to sine of square root of t and y dash equal to 1 by 2 times square root of t into cos of square root of t, we can rewrite this equation as y double dash is equal to 1 by 2 multiplied by sine of square root of t is nothing but y and then we have the minus and then what we have 1 by 2 times t and then we have cos of square root of t multiplied by t power minus 3 by 2 which can be rewritten as which can be rewritten as minus 1 divided by t multiplied by y dash because y dash is equal to 1 by 2 into square root of t into cos of root t. Upon simple rearrangements we can rewrite this equation as 4 t y double dash plus 2 times y dash plus y is equal to 0. So this is the differential equation corresponding to y equal to sine of square root of t. Now we can use the properties related to differential equations for solving the Laplace transform. That is, we want to find the Laplace transform of y of t. Now let the Laplace transform of y, that is, which is actually y of t, equal to lowercase y. Next, we want to take Laplace transform of, on this equation. That is, we have 4 times Laplace transform of t times y double dash plus 2 times Laplace transform of y dash plus small y which is equal to 0 because small y is nothing but the Laplace transform of uppercase y. It is the function y of t. Now by using the properties for t times a function that is Laplace transform of a product t time product with t of a function we have 4 times minus d by ds into Laplace transform of y double dash. And then we have 2 times the property for the Laplace transform of a derivative which is s times y that is the Laplace transform of y minus, minus the initial value of the function that is capital Y of 0. And then we have the lowercase y which is equal to summation is equal to 0. Again for the first term we have the, the Laplace transform of a second derivative. So by using the formula we have s square into y that is the Laplace transform of y that is the Laplace transform of y of t minus s times the initial value of the function minus y dash of 0 that is the initial value of the first derivative. And then we have plus 2 times s into y and then the initial value of the function sine of square root of t is clearly equal to 0. So we can ignore y of 0. And then the last step is, and the last term is small y. 
and the equation and the sum is finally equal to 0 and again the terms y of 0 that is the initial value of the sin of square root of t is 0 and y dash of 0 which is the initial value of cos of square root of t by square root of t and we know that cos theta over theta under the limit theta tends to 0 is always going to be 0 so y dash of 0 is equal to 0 therefore we have minus 4 d by ds as a square into y minus and then we have plus 2 times s into y plus y equal to 0. Now by applying the derivative on this product we have minus 4 into s square into derivative of y with respect to s plus 2 times s into y plus 2sy plus y equal to 0. So upon simplification this is equal to minus 4 s square dy by ds and then we have minus 8sy plus 2sy which is minus 6sy and we have plus y equal to 0. Upon simple manipulations this can be rewritten as dy by y is equal to 1 minus 6s by s square ds and of course there is a 4 in the denominator. Now by taking integration on both sides that is integration on both sides we get logarithm of y is equal to integral of 1 minus 6s divided by 4 into s square ds which is clearly equal to integral 1 by 4 s square ds minus 3 by 2 integral 1 by s ds therefore from the left hand side we have logarithm of y on the right hand side for the first integral it is 1 by 4 into integral of 1 by s square which is minus 1 by s in the second integral we have minus 3 by 2 multiplied by integral of 1 by s ds which is logarithm of s and a constant k and now by taking exponential on both sides we have y is equal to exponential of minus 1 by 4 s multiplied by exponential of logarithm of s power minus 3 by 2 and the exponential of k which can be rewritten as a constant c therefore y is equal to c divided by s power 3 by 2 that is this term and then we have e power minus 1 by 4s so this is the final structure of the laplace transform of y of t now we want to find the constant c since the uppercase y of t is equal to sine of square root of t for small root of t that is small values of the argument square root of t sine of square root of t is approximately equal to square root of t therefore the laplace transform of sine of square root of t can be approximated as laplace transform of square root of t which is known to be square root of pi divided by 2 times s power 3 by 2 and for the right hand side that is for the for the for the relation y equal to c by s power 3 by 2 e power minus 1 by 4 s for very large s the laplace transform y can be approximated to be equal to c by s power 3 by 2 because for very large values of for the very large values of s we can ignore the function exponential of minus 1 by 4 s because 1 by 4 s will get very close to 0 so its exponential can be approximated as 1 that is very small values of square root of t and large values of s we can equate the two laplace transforms that means that is y is equal to c by s power 3 by 2 for very large s and for very small t it is also equal to pi square root of pi divided by square root of pi divided by 2 times s power 3 by 2 therefore the value of the constant c is equal to square root of pi divided by 2 hence the laplace transform of the function sine of square root of t is equal to square root of pi divided by 2 times s power 3 by 2 thus we can use differential equation 
टू सॉल्व फॉर द लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ साइन ऑफ स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ ठीक थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग